Welcome to the Hoops with Us podcast. And today I am joined by a very special guest, Coach Wesley Burke. He is the lead assistant at Life Pacific University. Wesley, how's it going, man? It's going good. Just trying to stay healthy, you know, with this quarantine stuff. I hear you. Same here. So, man, the first question that I have for you today is uh, just tell us a little bit about your playing and coaching journey. Well, my playing journey would would take a long time to explain. Um, <laughs> but I finished uh, I finished at Walla Walla U in uh, Washington. Um, I finished, I had a nice career, uh, scored like 1,100 points. So uh, was all league up there. So that was nice. And my coach that I played for, uh, he worked at Gonzaga. So, you know, we ran a lot of their stuff. Um, so that was good. And then kind of transitioned into coaching. Um, and the same city up there is a, is a junior college, uh, Walla Walla Community College. Um, so I got a year and I coached for uh, Jeff Rhineland up there. And we went to the NWAC final, which was unbelievable, the experience of just being, being able to learn from him and, and just kind of going on that run. And, you know, we ended up losing in the final. But, you know, just to be around those guys and be around him and learn from him and just soak up all the information that I got to learn from him was just a great experience. And then after that, I got the job at, at Life Pacific with uh, Coach Cook, and it's just been unbelievable to learn from him. You know, he's he's been in the game for, for 25 years. So just to be able, like I said, just to be a sponge and just learn and, you know, grow and, you know, understand what it means to, you know, be professional and, and just just learn. For sure, for sure. So the next question that I have for you today is, you just said that uh, you were a coach at Walla Walla Community College. That was your first coaching gig. Uh, tell us about the experiences you had there. I know you just said you went to the final for uh, that. So just tell us a little bit about those experiences there and how you grew as a coach in your first year. Well, uh, learning, learning from Coach Riley, he's very uh... – Old school, I would say he he may he might be one of the last old school coaches still able to get away with being an old school coach, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, he was hard on the guys, and I and I picked up on a lot of that stuff. And you know, but it was great because you know, as hard as he was, he two seconds later he was really good at just hugging the guy and kind of explaining, you know, what he kind of meant, not how he said it. So just picking up on that stuff and then, you know, making a run with, with the guys we had, you know, we had a really good point guard, uh, Damon Thacker, who he's at Idaho now, the University of Idaho in the big sky. So um, just learning from him, learning what a good point guard is supposed to look like. Um, and then we had a kid named Jake Albright who had one of the best jump hooks I've ever seen, you know, he'd catch on the, on the block one bump and hook it. So, you know, just to be able to learn from those guys, learn from Coach Rhineland, you know, learn, you know, because Coach Rhineland's been there for, I think, in the late, like, he's might have even been there for about 30 years now. And just to learn from what a program, you know, is supposed to be and, you know, kind of take bits and pieces of it and carry it into my coaching career um, is maybe the best thing I'll take from that. Absolutely. So now you have, you are the lead assistant at Life Pacific University. Uh, Coach Cook put us in contact together. He's a very good friend of mine. He's been with me from the start of this. Uh, just tell us about your time at Life Pacific so far. Well, here at my time at Life Pacific is where I really started to grow professionally, um, learning what it was like to come into the office every day and, you know, be groomed and wear, you know, clothes that, you know, it weren't just basketball clothes. It was like, you know, you had to come to a job. You're coming to a job. You need to be professional. Uh, he talks a lot about professional excellence. And that's something that, you know, I've really taken ownership of and making sure my hair is nice, making sure I'm shaved, you know, making sure, you know, you look professional because you never know who you're going to meet that day. You never know, you know, if the president's going to come into your office or, you know, he's the AD too. So, you know, the AD is not going to be coming to the office, but you never know, you know, you never know where you're going to be down the line. So, just taking bits and pieces of that and then, you know, transitioning more into a role of like recruiting. I'm doing a lot more recruiting than what I did at Walla Walla. And then, you know, working the guys out. You know, I did some workouts at Walla Walla, but just trying to fine tune the skills of 
working guys out within our offense. Um, you know, we do a lot of pick and roll stuff. We do a lot of shooting. We shoot the three a lot. So just making sure guys are, are ready to go for when we get into practice, you know, knowing what we expect as a staff. Uh, and then, you know, the last thing is just administrative stuff, you know, you know, doing a little bit with the budget, looking at the budget, doing some travel stuff, you know, making sure, you know, meal money's ready to go, you know, all the different nuances that, you know, I can carry on with me to, you know, one day if I'm lucky enough to, to get a head coaching job. Absolutely. So the next question that I have for you is, uh, what are you guys as a staff doing to improve for next season at Life Pacific? Well, our normal stuff we would be doing, we're not able to do right now because of the quarantine stuff. Um, we do Zoom calls with our guys. Um, finals are coming up soon, so we'll kind of give them a break a little bit, and then we'll get started. We, we got some home workouts, and, um, you know, Coach Cook talks a lot about accountability in our program. That's a, that's a big, that's one of our, like, pillars, if you want to call it that. So just being accountable to, you know, staying within the process. We're going to have workouts that we're going to be doing all summer and, you know, filming them and, you know, just being accountable. You know, we don't want something like this to stop us from, you know, pursuing our goals, which our goal right, our big goal right now is to become a perennial GSAC playoff team. Uh, that's kind of what we're moving towards. So, you know, just understanding the process, getting our guys to buy into to the process of what that looks like and, and uh, you know, making sure we have the right guys, especially in recruiting, uh, that are going to fill that void. You know, our main goal in recruiting this year was to get a lot of locker room guys. And what we mean by that is getting guys that are just going to fill right into the system, buy in from day one. They're happy to be there. They want to get better. And, you know, with that mindset, I think we can be successful. Absolutely. Yeah, I was talking to Coach Tim about that. And like you just said, you were kind of trying to find locker room guys. And that's just guys that are basically wanting to accept the role that they're going to get. It's not the role that they might want. But like I was talking to all the other coaches, you got a team of guys that just plays their role to the specific part, then you're going to be successful. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really important. I mean, you know, you can't have 12 guys on the team that want the ball all the time. You know, you got to have some Draymond Green, some Dennis Rodman type guys, some guys that are going to play some defense. And, you know, if we had 12 shooters on the team, we would, you know, and we go cold, we wouldn't win very many games. So it's like, you know, getting, like you said, getting guys to understand their role and, uh, you know, buy in and understand that there's a bigger picture at hand. You know, a lot of freshmen aren't going to come in and, you know, take the world by storm and score 25 a night. It's, you know, you kind of got to build up into that. And so getting them to do, you know, the groundwork for all that and hopefully by their, you know, junior, senior year, they're able to score some points. So that's kind of, that's kind of how I value that and how I see, you know, getting locker room guys to, to fill in. Yeah, I completely agree. All right, man. The next question that I have for you is uh, you were telling me earlier that this summer was going to be your first summer with a BTI AAU program, but unfortunately, the summer hasn't started yet for AAU basketball. Uh, once this quarantine stuff is over and everyone can get back in the gym, what are you looking forward to most uh, being a part of the BTI program? Just being around the culture. Their culture in BTI is unbelievable. It you know, starts with Robert Icart and then Coach Teller, Mike Teller, um, you know, and just the way they run their program is unbelievable to watch. You know, I was in tryouts and, you know, I got to see some of the kids and, and the kids are just high level, high class, you know, great program, great, great fits. You know, they're just all good kids. And, you know, I think that's one of the, the pillars that Coach Icard and, and Coach Teller, you know, try to get when they go get kids is, is just to find good, high character kids. And, to just be around that, it's a family atmosphere, you know, all the coaches, you know, dapping each other up and saying hello to each other, How you know, and it's genuine. It's not like, you know, oh, good to see you, you know, it's, it's, it's quality stuff. And, and just to be around that, you know, it helped me grow in, in the two or three weeks I was with them to start before the quarantine happened. So just doing that and then, you know, getting to the games, you know, coaching my own team, I was really looking forward to that, you know, so, and learning, you know, how to, how to coach in a game, you know, and being the, the guy that 
calls all the stuff. You know, I was, I was looking forward to growing in that, in that aspect. For sure. Well, coach, that's all the questions that I have for you today. Uh, I really, really appreciate you for joining me on the show today. Uh, like we were just talking about, hope this quarantine stuff ends soon so you can get back in the gym and working with your guys. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And I just wanted to, uh, you know, today's a big day for, for our family or, you know, the Cook family, Austin signed to Idaho State. So that's big for us, you know, me working him out a little bit and, and, you know, for Coach Cook, you know, it's just big for us. So, you know, I wanted to shout him out. He'll probably watch this and make fun of me and all that stuff. So, <laughs> you know, it'll be cool. Absolutely, man. So once, right. once again, thank you again for joining me and uh, look forward to staying in touch. Appreciate it. Thank you. No doubt, man.